Welcome to the new React Native Quick Tutorial and today I want to show you three methods of opening web pages in your React Native app. As an example, I'll use Apple Privacy Policy web page and for every of three methods I'll add the button with the title that describes how we're gonna do that opening. And the first method, as you can see, this is just opening with the browser. We need to redirect from the our app to the installed browser on your device. We can do that with the linking, which is imported from React Native. Also, you can check if it's supported with the linking dot can open URL. It returns boolean value if it's supported everything okay you can open that or add some handler in the case if it's not supported looks like i did a mistake when i typed the url let's fix it and try one more time okay now it works looks good and very easy implementation but i don't like this method too much because of this redirection so let's see another one and it will be opening in the web view after 0.60 React Native version, WebView isn't a part of React Native. It was extracted in the separate module and supported by React Native community. The link to install React Native WebView module you can find in the video description. Looks like routine with the adding new button is already done, but I also need to add some separator. This is definitely not the best way to do that, but all that we need to have some space between the buttons. Much better now, and now we can go to the web view implementation. The main disadvantages of using the web view that every time when you want to use it, you need to create the new view. It could be model, or ideally, it could be uh, the separate screen. And if it's simple pages, something like privacy policy or terms of use, you need to create a special screen for these pages, or like in my case, to create the model for these cases, and it's pretty annoying, you know? But if I need to choose between the first method with the browser and the web view, I prefer to use the web view because I can avoid this redirecting between the apps. I believe you know how to work with the model view, but if it's not, you can find the source code in the description for this video. Now it's time to check how it works with the web view. Looks pretty nice and of course you can to customize this view to use a separate screen or different transition as you want. So it's time to go to the third method and it's actually my favorite. I need one more separator between buttons and the name for the third method this is the open link in the in the app browser. To do that we need also some separate model and the link to this model you can find in the video description. So now we have the button and uh, press handler for this button. The next we need to do is uh, import in-app browser from the separate model that I already installed. Now let's go back to the press handler implementation. It is pretty similar with the browser, our first method, because on the first step we need to check if it's available and only if it succeeds we can to open the URL. We can use default in our browser configs, but I prefer to use some customization for iOS and Android platforms. For example, for iOS, I prefer to use animated transition while we're opening the web page and also model. Uh, view and for Android let it be just to show the title together with the URL and finally we can check how it looks like it looks very good and I really like this solution because we're still in the our app and we don't need to create any additional screens just to show some web pages we have a pretty big list for customization and uh, let's to test uh, some of them. For example, we can to change our dismiss button from the done to the cancel. And this is our cancel button. Or let's play with some colors. So it allows us to use some theme, for example, which is awesome. But let's make sure that it works for Android too. 
Let's check all approaches step by step. The first one is opening just in the default browser and it looks nice but it redirects to the another app. The second one is opening in the web view. I don't like this transition but everything else is okay. And the last one is our in-app browser. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, it's nice. We have this title. So let's uh, change the show title to false and see how it looks like without title. Looks also very nice and you can test uh, another options from this list just using this source code. The link you can find in the video description. If you like it, this video tutorial, please thumbs up, leave your comments and uh, subscribe on my channel. It really helps to do more videos for you and see you in the next one.